The Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a revolutionary by sharing a Fan Bragging story of great customer service on Facebook.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Does telling your story so it gets heard, understood, and remembered sometimes feel like Mission Impossible? Then Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR can help. Jerry's here on the Experience Pros Radio Show at this time every week with a tip to help you tell your story. Jerry, welcome back. And what is our story today? Thanks. I'm glad to be here. And today's uh, tip is to anticipate problems. You know, we all know that it's important to say the right thing when you're telling your story, but it's also important to anticipate problems so that you can avoid saying the wrong thing. Um, that's and where we all get into trouble, Jerry, is sometimes we just open our mouth and the wrong thing comes out. She's can we really me. can we really avoid that? Uh, well, absolutely. And and it's not also it's also not just about avoiding the wrong thing. Sometimes you say the right thing, but you know there are those skeptics out there or you have some competitors or even mm enemies who are going to challenge what you say. So this tip is also about anticipating what others might say to push back so that you know how so that you have your rebuttal ready uh, before you um, uh, start telling your story so that you're ready when it's time to respond. Um, you know, when it comes to avoiding saying the wrong thing, it really is about thinking about, are there things in here that could be misinterpreted that people could find offensive? Uh, are there misconceptions about what your story is that you need to address to counter you know, misinformation your audience already has? For example, if people commonly think that what you do or your, your service or your product is the most expensive when it's not, you know, maybe you need to include something in your story just to counter that misinformation that's already out. So to anticipate the question before it's asked. Absolutely. I, I, exactly. I love that. All right. Now, Jerry, uh, sometimes uh, I can't tell if if I'm in, you know, in too close to it. Does it help to have somebody to bounce that off of? It certainly does. And it, um, it you know, uh, you'll also, um, if you give it some thought, you'll you'll know. But, yeah, absolutely. It always helps to, to bounce your ideas or your story or your message off of other people to see how they respond to it and how they react to it. Well, and I know you've got a blog that came out this morning, Jerry, actually last night, and it has the five questions you should ask yourself and answer for yourself as you prepare to tell your story. But there's one that you say that, that really is often most overlooked. Yeah, and that's really this one, is, which is what messages do you want to avoid? And you may or may not be able to avoid them, but it's really kind of, you know, it, how can my message be misunderstood or if I start talking about it, what kind of pushback am I likely to get? Um, you know, where can I take my story into the ditch? You know, one of the things I advise clients who are talking to reporters, for example, is that any story, no matter how positive it is, can go in the ditch at some point uh, and do it very quickly. And you just want to anticipate those so that you don't, you know, where can this story go in the ditch so that I know what to stay away from? Yeah, that makes that makes an awful lot of sense. Are there some examples that you uh, that, that you have? Well, one and it, from from a number of years ago, you talking about the Broncos. You know, one year when they were in the Super Bowl, uh, I worked for the phone company U.S. West, and we for the first time bought a Super Bowl ad, which was a big deal. And back in those days, the newspapers had uh, reporters who wrote about a big advertising buy like that, and this was a feel-good ad, um, and there was a picture in there just a brief one it wasn't on the screen more than one second of of an adult bathing a small baby in one of those uh, tabletop uh, tubs with a sure. phone up to their ear this was back in the days when phones had cords and uh it was only in there for a second but somebody said at the last minute you know we really shouldn't do that because that phone could fall into that water and that baby could be electrocuted that picture shouldn't be in that ad and everybody in an abundance of caution said you're right and they took it out, but it, it was a last-minute thing, and so they, that ad actually aired on the Super Bowl uh, regionally and, and for a couple times. And then on Monday after the game, they swapped it out. Well, in talking to this reporter about this ad buy and this very positive story, she mentioned that incident, and suddenly that's all that reporter wanted to talk about. 
Yeah, we were able to we were able to get the reporter not to write about it, but both our executive who talked to the reporter and the reporter uh, felt uh, uh, a little bit abused and beat up afterward. And it was a matter of taking a very positive story that was just a gimme positive story, and and by not realizing that that could take it into the ditch, almost did. You know, and I think that's what we see. In fact, I watch commercials or I listen to people these days, and and they need to ask these five questions that are listed on your blog, Jerry, and it would probably save them a lot of embarrassment, backpedaling, um, or even just the distraction that is really taking away from the message uh, that you really want to get out there. So I appreciate what you do here every week for us on the Experience Pros Radio Show. This is a great tip, Jerry. Thanks. I appreciate being here. Absolutely. Anticipate problems so you can avoid saying the wrong thing. And as the late journalist, screenwriter, and Denver native Gene Fowler once said, writing is easy. All you do is sit staring at a blank sheet of paper until drops of blood form on your forehead. Keep your forehead dry and hire Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR to help you write your blog posts, social media postings, articles, press releases, PowerPoint presentations, and more. Plus, he can help you edit what you've already written. Contact Jerry Brown at jerrybrownpr.com. You can always reach Jerry at jerry at jerrybrownpr.com or give him a call at 303-594-8016. That's 303-594-8016. One six. I know, and I find I follow him also on Twitter, and so you can follow follow Jerry yeah, on Twitter. His as well. blog, JerryBrownPR.com, is a wealth. I mean, a, a storehouse of great uh, training tips, commentary, and practical advice. That is something when we when we talk about putting together the show every week here on the on the Experience Wars Radio Show, the topics that I think we get a lot of questions about all have to do with really getting our message out. Absolutely. And and how do we say it? How do we say it in a way that somebody else is going to want to read it? Whether it's even our um, promotional brochures. I know our friend Joe Langren from Antonoff and Company just put together a new a new marketing brochure. Sure. The first one he put out, he said the feedback he got on it was it was too wordy. It was too lengthy. Yep. And so the new one that he put out had far more photographs. But the idea is everything that we do being consistent is sharing our message and i love how jerry brings it about asking yourself some of the questions where can this derail because we never think especially if we're putting together a presentation right you know we're going to be standing up we're already nervous oh, enough gosh. yeah then to start thinking about where can this derail but it's no different than going into a sales presentation prepared with you know what the frequently asked questions are you know what some of the um, concerns might be maybe you know the timing of it or the price of it or the color of it and if you can anticipate those in advance you've got that planned response you're not caught caught back on your heels you bet and you look you, you come across as far more confident. Absolutely. JerryBrownPR.com is your source for all things PR. You're listening to Angel and Eric on the most positive business talk show in America. The experienced pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com.